two, one. Okay. Right, today we're just going to examine three important aspects linked to the service action. First part is the number one priority, the use of the left arm and the ball toss. And we see that the ball is held, it's nested in the fingers, in this position, not in the palm. This gives a lot more control. And then the action, straight arm, but loose. So the arm is loose as a goose. So loose arm and the ball comes down inside of the leg there and then the thumb goes up to release the ball. So you notice this action here. And to improve this, we want the emphasis on keeping the left arm up. So the players will practice their ball toss in this manner, from the left, ball, left arm up and letting the ball drop to the ground. So they feel this emphasis of the left arm there. And then, arm still and catch the ball. Okay, so that's the very important aspect, the left arm. The left arm comes down too early, then this drops the shoulder and you're collapsing in the action. The left arm holds the throwing position, it comes down too early, shoulders come round, and you've lost a lot of the strength, the coordination chain through the body. So it's there, there. Okay, so now moving on, thinking into this, look at the first part of the action, it's all about the coordination of the body. So arms, the body working together. So just with two hands starting here, nice comfortable position. So we're here. So it's just the first part of the action. Arms and body working together. So we ensure that we have the rocking action here. So my weight is transferring from the front leg to the back leg. And there. My left arm, so my bracket arm, comes to this position here, which is at 90 degrees here, my palm facing the side fence. So we're here, here. Okay, we get this rhythm right, the start of the action, then everything else will follow. So the coordination of the whole body, here, here, placing the ball up. And we place the ball up, low. So it's a low ball toss there, not our normal high ball toss, because we're just practicing the start of the action. Okay, so the third part we're looking at today, just pronation of the racket, contact. So the racket, action, goes here and it pronates that way, and of course it finishes. So at full speed for the pro players, we're not able to see the pronation because the racket is going so fast. By pronating, we get a faster racket, we also get better accuracy on the serve. So a faster racket means a faster serve. Okay, so the progression on this, for our players, we start this in mini tennis. Even in mini tennis red, we work on this with some players. So the ball is looking at me. So just to ensure that my bracket is closed in this position, so the ball, which is my best friend, is looking at me. And then I throw the ball and I ensure my pupils have their thumb pointing down there and the palm of my hand pointing to the side. You'll notice there then that's the pronation action. The pupils will then probably do at least 10 throws starting from this position which we call trophy position here and then pronating 
There. We then do the same action, but with the racket, to a shadow in the action. There. You just get the feeling, finishing. So this is the correct position with the thumb pointing down, the palm pointing to the side. With some players, you may move them on. To doing it like this, they're showing us the whole action with their serve. What is appropriate for the player. So most players, we start from here. There. We then do the same thing. Very close to the net. Start with the trophy. Position. There with the ball. And then obviously we can bring targets in to help with the accuracy of the creation. Thank you for today. We're now going to be looking at that as a coach team. Thank you.